Anne just wanted her life back. She wanted to live again. Listen to her story. I think you'd be impressed. Okay, my name is Annie Hayes, and I'm from Ella J, Georgia. And I met Dr. Winter at a Healing Strong uh, meeting, and a lady there told me that he was the best and that he could help me. And I had almost given up because I, I had gone to all kinds of doctors. I had listened to all kinds of online videos. Um, I had read books on how to get healthy and nothing that anybody prescribed or said would work wonderfully, none of it worked for me. And I had really gotten discouraged uh, that nothing was helping. Uh, I was extraordinarily tired all the time. It, it, um, I went to bed um, it, it something like around 12 o'clock and I could not get up again until 10 or 11 o'clock the next day. Um, and one of the reasons that I did sleep so long is that it took me that long to not feel vertigo. And I lived in, I live in a three-story house. My kitchen is on the middle floor. And so I would usually sleep until I felt like I did not have the vertigo anymore. And then I would go downstairs, but I would have to hold on to the railing like an old lady. And I mean really hold on to it because I was afraid I would lose my, my uh, uh, balance. Um, now, meanwhile, even though I'm hardly eating anything, I don't feel like eating anything. I don't really want anything. And I was trying to eat healthy food. I was gaining weight like crazy until I made it up. I, I got to the point of weighing 200 pounds. Uh, I had never weighed that much before. Um, I had um, lived... I love the outdoors. I used to like to hike and, and um, whitewater raft and, and things like that. In fact, that was the reason that I had moved to LJ was so and, and bought the home that I did so that I could enjoy the mountains and do things outside and have a garden. And, and it was like I couldn't do any of those things anymore. Um, and I wanted to go out and, and have fun with other people, and I was too tired. And how long has that gone on for? Uh, that, that had gone on for about two years, but it was progressively getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And what did you try to try to help solve that problem? Well, I tried eating right. Um... Everybody says to exercise. I didn't have the energy to exercise. Um, I have a big dog. I tried taking him for a walk, but it's like I did good to, to walk down the driveway. Um, in, anyway, it's like I, w I was doing all the right things, I thought. Everything everybody said was healthy. I was trying to do it, but nothing Nothing worked until I came here. And then it's like, I have a new life now. My life has turned around. I've, I've even dating again in my old age. <laughs> <laughs> you use the cold laser, which I had researched a little, a little bit before I'd come, and I wasn't so sure about that. Uh, you did the kinesiology. That... Uh, I okay. There were several times that I came in here with a huge migraine headache, uh, with reactions to different chemicals because I had multiple chemical sensitivities, and um, I'd come in here with a headache, and boy, in five minutes the headache was completely gone. I felt pressure around my eyes because I'm predisposed to glaucoma. 
And um, uh, uh, Dr. Winter would massage around my eyes and, and the pressure just left. And I was somebody that couldn't take the drops for glaucoma because I have a reaction to, to drugs with sulfides in them. And glaucoma drops have sulfides in them. Um, I couldn't take um, medications for the headaches that I had because they either did no good at all or, or sometimes they even made it worse. You also talked about your flexibility, uh, your energy, that that's changed for you as well? Okay, the energy has come back tremendously. I mean, I'm back to, okay, I still don't get up at 6.30 or 7 o'clock like some of my friends, but I'm getting up now at 8 o'clock, which, uh, uh, and when I get up at 8 o'clock, I feel good. I'm not dizzy anymore. I can go down the stairs without holding on to the railing like an old lady. Um, my appetite has returned in that I feel like eating. Um, and yes, the energy has, has returned tremendously. Now, I am a ham operator. Um, and I am the secretary for the for for ears for L J Amateur Radio Society. Um, I am able to keep up with their minutes. In fact, I'm I'm so alert now I can even have the minutes done by the end of the meeting because I take my computer with me. Um, this ability to think clearly is wonderful. It's like. It, I, again, I have my life back. I have my brain back. I have my energy back. We also, you also have your flexibility back too, don't you? Yes, yes. Because uh, when I lived in North Carolina, I used to take yoga classes. And um, it, it's like now I am able to do some of the yoga like I used to. So that flexibility definitely is coming back. Good. So, and as you've, you've been with us, what, a uh, couple months now, two months, three months? Since April. April. So three months now. So that's happened in three months with you. Yes. Okay. Now, you've done, you started to do some more change. You're talking about your diet now. I think you're starting to think about exercising now. So that's all beginning to change as well, right? Yes. So I think you begin to see what your future now looks like. How would you dictate how you what you think your future is going to look like? For a divorced woman... <laughs> It's like my life is starting over again in a wonderful, wonderful way. Uh, socially, uh, uh, with, uh, I'm, I'm able to engage in all the activities that I want to engage in now. Great. And I have the energy to do it. Great, good. So what would you say to some of this, this process called kinesiology and nutrition, uh, muscle support? How, how would you tell somebody about that experience doing kinesiology? It, it clears things up. That's as best that I can uh, describe it. Um, I guess it's clearing neural pathways. It's... Um, um, I suppose to making the uh, blood flow better and um, things are connecting okay um, neuron the neuron in my brain must be connecting the the uh, when I'm engaging in an activity then the blood is getting where it's supposed to be uh, I don't get out of breath as easy as as I used to. So that that has that's a major difference. Uh, also, I guess it's also affected my blood pressure because I used to, when I um, would bend down to pick something up, and then raise up quickly, or I guess just normally, just raise up. My uh, blood pressure didn't uh, adapt didn't accommodate for going down and coming up. Okay, that dizziness is gone. Perfect. Good. Okay, to wrap this up, is there anything you tell somebody who's listening to this and said, look, I know where you guys are, and here's where I'm at today. 
here's, I might want to give you a boot in the pants to try something different than you tried to pass if that didn't get the success you wanted to. So what would you say to somebody, say, if you're sitting out there and you heard my story, I've got the same story you did, what would you tell them to say, make something happen? I have friends that think that my trying alternative, um, uh, it's not medicine, but therapy. alternative therapies is like the craziest thing in the world that I've really got off the deep end. And the thing is, uh, what I am doing is working. What they are doing is not working. And all you got to do is ask your friends that use conventional doctors and they're on a list of oodles of medications and, and each medication that they're taking makes them worse. They are not getting better. I am getting better. <laughs> Every day, I'm getting better. I'm feeling better. I'm losing weight. Um, I'm, I'm happier. Okay, when, when you feel this pressure on your brain, you're not happy. I mean, you feel pressed down. And I knew for a fact when the doctors or somebody would ask, am I depressed? It's like, well, I considered being depressed is having something wrong in your life that caused you to not be happy. Right. And it's like, okay, every, every the circumstances in my life are good. I, I, I should feel happy. But this pressure on my brain this not this fog this lack of clarity it's like it just nothing was working nothing and it was like it was stuck things were stuck up there and 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 the best description that i know of is that i felt pressure and the pressure I guess made me feel, made me depressed, made me like, right. like this. And it's like, no, that's not my personality. That's not how I wanted to be. Right. So you're not taking any medication at all? Now you cut back. Uh, I'm taking the whole food supplements from Standard Process that Miss Jean is, is uh, recommending. But that's really not medications. It's a form of food. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes. Well, great. You did good. So this is our first time with you. So there'll be a point in time in the future we'll come back and do this again. We'll see who you are then and we'll compare to where you are in the future. Okay. Okay. <laughs> great job with things. Good job. Anne got her life back. How about you? Call Dr. Winner at 770-536-6600.